Okay, resistor of 3 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in series with 12 volt battery of negligible internal resistance. What is the potential difference across the 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistor? Okay, let us draw uh, out this circuit. Yeah, draw out this circuit first. Okay, so we have the 12 volt V total, and then we have two resistor in series. Okay, they are connected in series. Yeah, remember, series that means they're connected side by side, lah. And no, no, connected end to end. Ah, uh, only one leg connected. So we can put. Ah, uh, this is the three ohm. This is the uh, 3 ohm and 6 ohm. Uh, we can put label them. We can label them. Uh, this is the V total. Uh, this is put as R1. This one as R2. Understand? Uh, and then um, they're connected in series. They're, okay, battery has no internal resistance. So I want to find the potential difference across the 3 ohm and 6 ohm separately. Yeah? So I want to find uh, you know the voltage uh, the voltage V1, V2. Uh, what is V1? What is V2? Right? Uh, so I want to find this voltage. We know that this this is in series series. So actually series, the V total is uh, V1 plus V2. Understand? Uh, it's v, v series means the voltage is plus plus. Lah. plus voltage is plus plus. After you get the voltage V1 and V2, when you plus them, you will get 12 volt. You get back the 12 volt uh, total voltage because it's in series. Yeah, series connection. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so let's use the potential divider. Yeah, potential divider principle. I uh, can use uh, the R1 over R total, multiply the vo total voltage. That's for V1. V2, you use the R2 over R total, multiply V total. Okay, all right, so let's do it. Yeah, so V1 will be um, uh, R1 over R total, uh, V total. Yeah. For V2, it is uh, R2 over R total, uh, V total, okay? Uh, we know that for series circuit, for series circuit, the R total, the R total is, um, you know, uh, for series, for series, the resistance become bigger, doesn't it? Uh, why become bigger? Because it plus plus, uh, the resistance plus plus, it become bigger, serial, when resistor connected in series become a bigger resistor, so it's plus plus the resistance R1 plus R2. Uh, so let's find out. So this 3 plus 6, okay, uh, is 9 ohm. Uh, it's 9 ohm, yeah? Okay, so divide, so it, the voltage is divided according to the uh, resistance. Uh, so I predicted that uh, resistance is a smaller smaller resistance right uh, resistance is a smaller resistance resistance 2 is a bigger resistance bigger resistance so i can say that voltage 1 is smaller uh, voltage 1 will have a smaller voltage smaller resistance a uh, smaller resistance take up smaller voltage uh, bigger resistance bigger bigger resistance take up uh, bigger voltage uh, so I predicted that V1 will be smaller than V2. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, okay, R1 is a smaller. Uh, this six, 3 di divide by 9. 3 divide by 9. Uh, and then multiply by 12 volt. Uh, that's the V total. Okay, so what do you get? So what do you get? Uh, I got uh, 3 over 9. Uh, multiply 12 so I got 4 uh, and this is 4 volt and how about uh, this uh, this one V2 V2 is 6 over 9 yeah 6 over 9 multiply 12 so okay, 6 over 9 multiply 12 okay so I got 8 ah uh, do you see that uh, so 
V2 is bigger voltage 8 volt compared to V1 is a smaller voltage uh, only 4 volt see that uh, why because the resistant uh, resistant one is smaller uh, that's why I can say resistant one is smaller so you have a smaller voltage yeah uh, smaller resistant uh, smaller voltage this one resistant to uh, bigger resistance so have a bigger voltage uh, this is what we call a uh, potential divider potential divider principle okay it divide according to resistance divide or you can say it's like divide voltage according to resistance value ah uh, understand it divide the voltage according to the resistance value smaller resistance smaller resistance smaller voltage bigger resistance bigger resistance bigger voltage uh, smaller resistance smaller voltage bigger resistance bigger voltage uh, so and you can see if uh, this 4 volt plus 8 volt you get back the 12 volt uh, that's what because there's this this vo voltage 1 and voltage 2 they are in series uh, so it's v1 plus v2 you get back the uh, v total see that uh, so this potential divider is correct yeah uh, v4 volt plus 8 volt get back the 12 volt you see that v1 plus v2 get back the 12 volt this is what we call potential divider uh, potential divider principle okay that's all for this uh, uh, i got the answer already 4 volt and 8 volt 4 volt 8 volt that's correct okay that's all for this uh, questions bye bye